Eduardi, I'm Jim and Chinev, and now I want to analyze rounds four uh, to six from four to six rounds from uh, European Online Just Jazz Championship. Let's go. Okay, how can you hear me? Great. New volume on seventy. Okay, so let's analyze first with my game against Boero Rakos Mate. He's from Romania. In round four, let's check his region progress chart. So. Indeed, it was like this. He's 2008. He born in 2008, so it was like this. Then this. Um, then classical was coming up. And it's here. So now he has 1756 classical, 1666 in rapid, and 1552 in blitz. So let's check his first tournament. First two tournament in classic. Ah, uh, splits. This this and this. Okay. So classic he opened no it's not first, it's today in okay, it was in Romania also. So he had two with a half points out of five and plus sixteen ratings. Then it was also in Romania, he got zero. Okay, it was his one of first tournaments. He played in classic zero out of five, minus 39. And this is tournament. What? The same rating? Everybody has the same rating? Ha! <laughs> okay, it's also in Romania out of 14 games, he gets three points and he gets classical rating. Then, yeah, it's classical. Then it comes rapid. Rapid this where he opened it. Six one point out of six. Also in Romania. Um then also in Romania he opened Blitz two out of ten. But he won against quite strong opponent, that's nice. Um this is latest Oops, yeah, this seems latest, yes it's latest. Rapid from he played also in Romania four with a half points out of seven possible. Nice result plus twenty five on rating. And this is Romania Romania National Just Blitz Championship under twelve also in Romania six out of nine points minus thirty five for twenty five in in Blitz. Yeah. So let's get started with analyzing the game. I was playing Blacks. In opening, it didn't really seem that we've done many problems. <laughs> okay, doesn't seem we did many. We had many problems, so we should be seven. Yeah, probably was d4 better. Then I put knight over here, then we should be seven and the stuff. Bishop c1, knight of six. I can force the draw or this. I should play d4, and that seems slightly better for me. But I played bishop b7. He played rook e1, this mistake he takes d was best. And then g4 on 85. <laughs> it really looks really sharp. Knight h6. Three castle. Stockfish so says plus one for open, but didn't really. Okay, I see bishop h6 is idea, but still looks very weird. So knight of six and actually business d4. I'll, uh, yeah, okay, I need d4 to close. And here he had to play e5. Yeah, I don't really like e5, and then he can do g4 f5. Yeah. Seems better for him. I played b4. And d4 was better. And he takes d. Knight e2 is mistake business, knight a4. So okay, he puts pressure on pawn c5, and that seems okay for him. But I also on the scene I don't like he has this knight on a4. What seems like looks like it's stuck there. Okay, but bishop f2 stockfish says, and here he put knight back, and then it seems fine. This is. Hey, here I saw a place. I calculated here. Quite a lot this, but I don't like Quincy one or yeah, and I don't see any say nice so it's equal position, so 
Uh, yeah. And then after knight c1 here, I calculate it also many times. This, but I didn't like that. That. I didn't like queen e2 or queen e3. Eek. Yeah, queen e3 I don't like, but Stockwich says this, but I saw all queen of 3 and I don't see anything nice for me because knight 4 on b7, like. This is on b7 hang, so I don't like position here, but still says it's plus one. And also, I didn't like this, I didn't see knight d4, so I saw I should jump this knight here. And here I was scared because of this, like rook dd8, but I didn't like position uh, for me. But after bishop c6, I'm winning. But okay, I played bishop e7, he played knight d2. After he did knight, okay, it was 6 2 2 for him and 6 2 nil for me. Yeah, forgot. Queen e5 in exhibition is d4. Yeah, that seems slightly better for me, but still holdable for him. Rook a1 in exhibition is knight e5, yeah, because I attacked his pawn. So, Stockwich says he don't have to protect this pawn, but he protected it. And here it was, I made c4, it was risky decision. Of course, bishop of 8, I saw it's better, but we both already had like 5 minutes. Or, no, maybe seven minutes, but he will, me, man, main thing is we had not so many time. And when I played c4, he played d takes c, and that's a big mistake. He had, yeah, I know I give him d4 square, and yeah, he can play, and then it's equal. But, ow! Ow! It's not nice. But when he played d takes c, and then I have this, so queen is 3 I have bishop c5, I'm winning, or knight of 2 and bishop c5. Or when he did knight queen, or like when he does did queen c1 in games, and I can chop what I did. And here queen c5. And here I'm even winning, it's better than the game, but c takes b just one person's queen c2. And here he has some counter play, but I'm, I'm up in exchange and slowly I'll win. But after c takes b9 before, he has queen cannot move, rook from a1 cannot move, then rook from d1 cannot move, then I chopped here. Then pins and queen d5, all of his knight is pinned. So he cannot move. Rookies cannot move, queen cannot move because of rookie 2. He played b3 here, I played c3. The h4 was better, but here it's already completely winning for me. Yeah. Then I played c2. Played knight e1, c1. And here he gave up in completely winning position for me because I have bishop e1, I have rookie 2 threatening, and all this stuff. Sounds like this. Let's analyze this game in chess.com. So, 71.3 for him, 89.6 for me. Zero brilliant for each of us, 15 best move for me, 19 for him. Oh, yeah, yeah, 15 for him, nine for, 19 for me. 8 excellent for him, 7 for me. 4 good move for him, 3 for me. 3 book moves for each of us, only 3 moves. <laughs> 2 inaccuracies for him, 3 for me. 3 mistakes for him, 1 for me. And zero blunders and zero missed for each of missed wins for each of us. Let's get started. Yeah, here it says uh, it takes D was better and all this stuff here I had to play close. But before this inaccuracy, first inaccuracy in the game, E5 was better, yeah. And then he has this G4 F5 ideas. So I wasn't sure. Probably I was even not probably I was thinking to go even long castle and play c4 and play something like this. Mm. But here Stockfish says I'm fine here, but I didn't like it and I don't want to play it. Before you see I should play d4. And here I'm slightly better because I have like 95 c4 and all this stuff. Here 92 in accuracy, yeah, he had to put knight here, it seems like it's better, but he has b3, knight b2 idea at some point, at some point like here c3, or bishop e3 and attack c5 pawn, so something like that. Then, yeah, then it seemed everything fine. Here I had, again, repeat, 94, it was quite interesting, but this is yet queen e3, and here after this, I don't, no, not here. Bishop of 3 and I don't saw that I'm better. I mean, even queen c1 seems fine here. He takes of this and I don't saw that I'm better, so I don't like to play it. Uh, I played bishop of 8 here after knight c1. Uh, knight, b bishop e7, knight e4 is best. Yeah. Um. Okay, he had to do this. And here I'm better still. But I calculated 
this chop chop like queen e3 then e takes f but here i don't like this position but here you can just chop this this if bishop e7 then queen b6 and it's mate if knight b3 then i can do bishop c6 and i'm also winning but i didn't saw bishop c6 so i didn't play this move but i played bishop e7 here c4 and yeah i understood that c4 is not the best move because I allow him to take knight d4, and here he's perfectly fine. I had to do bishop f8 instead of c4, and here he's slightly better. No, I'm better after after rook e8, bishop f3, knight d4, so c4, and then. So here I'm better. But yeah, so he had to do knight d4, but here he played d takes c. It's a, I can say it's a blunder. Here he's slightly wet and there's a lot of battle left and this stuff. But then he played, yeah, uh, d takes c knight e4. I get this. Bishop c5, bishop e3. Now, like, stalemate him. <laughs> knight e7 was better. c takes b. I don't know. Rook d1, but here it was very tough to play with white. So I'm not sure if that helps. But after this, I just have bishop g2. Rook d2 is in mistake, but since knight e3. Uh, knight of three, mistake with some queen e4, but that doesn't give anything for opponent because I can chop and I'm winning still. Uh, yeah, queen d5, so now his knight is spinned because of my queen. Um, so his skin cannot move and I cannot move, and his rook is pinned uh, because of this knight and this. Oh. So I have rook e2 ideas. And yes, yeah, so his rook also cannot move. And his queen cannot really move because queen c1, just knight c2 or knight d3. So queen is also bad, and this is bad. So only move c can try is to move his pawn. He did it, a3, knight d3. But after a4, c2, he just had to do this. And here I got this, and bishop d2, and here he gave up, and I won. So I pretty like game I played. It was quite nice. So now let's quickly go through key moments of the game. Yeah, okay, d takes is just a blunder. It says it's a mistake, but I would say it's a blunder. C takes B. I forgot. <laughs> On ICD4 or Queen C2, I forgot. <laughs> I guess queen c2, no, knight d1, I forgot. Yeah, rook d1, mm. and here rook d2 is mistake, knight d3 is better. So plus 3 accuracy for me, and plus 13 and 6 for him, so 84.9 for him in total, and 92.6 in total for me. Now I forgot, let's just open chess base, 15. And let's analyze the game, so you test and now let's analyze this game. Here, control F, ouch, not control S, control, control F. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. I mean, I usually mouse sleeps on, but here it was mouse sleep on keyboard. <laughs> okay. So, it's everything fine until here. Here probably that's I can say inaccuracy d4 is the best. Um, and yeah, that's equal. Rookie one is another inaccuracy based on so he had to chop. Chop this is h3. No, not bishop h3 with pawn, castle and this interesting position. F5 seems quite better, slightly better, but still interesting. Alright, so knight of 6 is fine, but d4 seems also interesting. So, this idea of knight of, knight of 6 and a castle. Ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so many more slips. Okay, uh, finger slips, excuse me. Um, h3, b4 is inaccuracy. D4 was better. Maybe one castle, maybe D2. H6. Uh huh, so I provoke something like this. Queen C7, King H2. 
Rook f d8 and I'm slightly better because my idea is e5 and if he do e5 by myself and I can do knight e5 and then these two squares are weak and I can jump with my knight there so I'm better. Uh, he takes this, this and this is I can say it's inaccuracy one more. He had to put knight on a4. So castle a3, e5. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And after this, 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 ninety six, this, 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 queen of three, white seems slightly better in this very comfortable end game because I mean they both have the I and top and have but I have even weak pawn on c five, and after ninety seven, ninety seven is the best and it seems equal. So yeah, castle, this is. So I'll say, yes, it's in accuracy. Uh, d4 is the best. Yeah, because he's he's playing very passive, and yeah, I can do everything I want, and he just stays. And it's slightly better for me. Um, let's play here, knight e4. Calculated ninety four. What if I do TB text before? No, wait. Oh, when I click T, it's like coming back. What? Oh, <laughs> okay. But I didn't, don't, 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 didn't like and here white is perfectly, perfectly fine. Okay, knight c1 is nice. Knight mm, 4 was interesting. I calculated this again. This again. But here I saw this ninety three. Oh, not with queen. No, he says yeah. Okay, ninety three is the best. And here, white slightly worse after c four and like slightly better. But not yet. But this this queen of zero rookie one rookie one. Okay, so that is okay for white. And I also what I didn't like. If queen e3, he takes f. I saw here white. White is white. White is really well. White is perfect position again. Position again. But after. Not after ninety seven, I'm win winning. Yep, so that's this, 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 it's mistake. Ouch.
mistake was on c5 and I'm still slightly better so rook a1 c4 is an inaccuracy I had to play queen b6 knight h4 knight c1 d4 still slightly better for me and still slightly better for me um yeah but this is a big mistake you had to play knight d4 and it's equal cool. and it's equal equal okay I see equal, equal right oh no <laughs> and that's better um yeah so but after 94 is the best move And yeah, here I'm completely winning. Bishop a7 was even the best. It's queen c5 and queen f2 idea. So yeah, c is but okay. Rook, yeah, that's a mistake. Rook d1 was better. And white still can try to hold. But after this, it's completely winning. After this, just pin through here. This is bad. Everything is bad. And pin through here. Yeah. Let's do it like this. And let's remove this. Ah, yoy. Here. Here. From here, ah, I'm confused. Oof. Let's remove this. How can I remove this? There it is. <laughs> yep, yeah. I never seen this. Nice. And here, open just resign. And I want to game by Aerodragos Mate. Control S. Okay. So analyze now. Let's. So my opponent finished in the tournament at the. Let me see. Maybe it's too low. Right? It's too low. Not too low. Not too low. Where did you finish? Uh, should be somewhere here. Oh, dragus. Hmm. Let's see if I Oh, he finished on 68 place with 4 points. Alright. So I can close on Liches, I can close on Chesscom, and I can close his video profile account. Now let's analyze my game in fifth round against Watchal Camille. He's from Poland, he's from 2009, he's born in 2009. He's old. Dragos my table arrow. Dragos my Yeah. So he's in total in Romania. He's 536 place. My open in first round in Europe. He's 44,878. And in world, he's 56,477. Yeah. So Warshaw Camille is in Poland 163rd from all. No, not from all, from active players. Then I'm saying all the active players. Then in Europe from active players is 32,502nd. And in world 40. 40,269. So this is his rate in progress. Here his classic counts come up. It's again come up, up, a little bit down, then again up. And here it is. Then uh, this rapid. I did this started. You didn't see where it's other. Oh, it is started somewhere, I guess. 
But okay, it started, it, it came up, up, then again up, little bit down, and again up, and now he said 1726, and in blitz he started here, come up, 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 little bit down, again up, and now he's 1690. So now he has in classical 1875, in rapid 1726, and in blitz 1690. So he's candidate master, and let's check his first available tournament, this, and last one. In classic, available. Here it's not available, so this. And this, so here it's already five, and now in blitz, this one. Yeah, he didn't open it so early, yeah, he didn't. And blitz this one, and this one. So first, first classical tournament when he opened rage and he he played eight games and get two with half points in Poland. Okay, but then he played two tournaments in it was his like first rated tournaments in Poland. He get one out of four points and minus thirty nine. Ouch! And in European, yes, just. Championship 2016 under it, he got 0 out of 2 points and minus 16 on rating. So, yep, and then his last tournaments in classic he played um, in Poland and in Poland. In first one, in first one, he got 3 points out of 9 and he got minus 36 on rating. And in second one, he got also he played in Poland, he got uh, 5 is a half points out of 9, but still minus 20. Two on rating, and yeah, and his first uh, rapid tournament. No, it's oh, it's last one. Yeah, okay, here's first in Polish rapid just just championship under eight five is a half points plus forty four rating. Nice. Then his his rapid tournament last rapid tournament out of 11 games 8 points and minus 25 on rating uh, his first blitz tournament is also in Poland so he's played usually in Poland uh, 1 point out of 4 but plus 9 on rating and his last uh, tournament in blitz also in Poland 7 with a half points out of 13 plus 123 on rating so yeah, oh, it was in Czech Republic, I see. There's also was many Poland guys. So let's analyze this game. So from opening, I'll not spend many time on opening part. H6 was better. Yeah, here I saw I could have done 95. Mm -hmm. yeah, here I could have done 95. 95 is this. Bishop d5, he takes d. 87 king h8 queen e5 and I can get pawn but I'm slightly better. So 94 bishop b7 this yeah here I done something wrong and he got an advantage. I have to do bishop d3 and then bishop f5. So here it's something like position we got in the game later on. But yeah, if we do this, it's like the same position from game, but still not the same. Here we have this little inaccuracy, but still he has this advantage, yes, that's what I told you like. For similar to his game, knight f4 was better, and yeah, bishop b7 he could have played g5. So my knight is like here stuck. Oh, 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 but uh, I forgot to control <laughs> because it just missed the shift, uh, shift and alt, but now it's yellow. Alt it is blue, and control is red. I see. Yeah, and so my knight is bad, and I'm not really nice. Uh, queen c6 in exhibitions, bishop c6. So he's not threat uh, check. Uh, he's not threatening checkmate now. But he said he has to check on a4 and to play g5. Uh, put my knight away and then get a pawn. So I had to play d5, but I played b3, and that's a mistake. So after d5, this I get, but I don't see h4 or h3. And after h3, stop with this. I mean, okay. So this and here mistake with some queen b1. Yeah, I don't really know why he didn't jump. So he can do this, d5, queen c4, h4, h a5, or queen e4, but he's fine here, better. And here also one moment, he had also g5, and queen d5, knight e2, or knight h5, 
king f8 or f6 and he's better here. But he played this and queen e7 here. We traded a little bit later queens. Here I had the big time trouble. I had 10 seconds and he had around 5 minutes. Yes, yeah, spent so many time. And here mistake f6 is just big blunder with some skin d6. Yeah, he had to do this and that is fine. Um, g4 is blunder with some bishop d5. Even if he do it knight c5, then it should be winning for me because I'll play knight a6. Or it doesn't matter if it's a knight a6. But I'll do knight a6. As I told you, then put knight to c5 or knight to b4, or somewhere to put knight or b8 also, it's fine. And then I'll put a6, I'll deflect with my pawn, and then I can go with my king to grind his pawns. But after he played g4, then I have this, then I put his king away, and yeah, here I get many pawns from him, and here some mistake, so it doesn't really matter, but here I get bishop from him, and then it was a... Uh, Checkmate realization part. Yes, yeah, so end game I played very nice, but middle game or and close to end it close to me uh, open and I played not base the best. So in chess com it says 96.8 accuracy for me, 81.1 accuracy for him, zero brilliant moves for each of us, 47 best move for me, 32 best move for him, 10 excellent for me, 16 for him, 6 good move for me, 12 for him, 11 good move for me, 10 for him, 3 net races for me, 2 for him. Um one mistake for me, two for him, zero lines for me, one for him, and zero missed wins for each of us. Let's analyze this game. So from opening, yeah, we get it was like main, main, um, no, not queen's gambit accepted. It was like main opening, one of mains. 94 was in action, yes. As Lichia says, I also had to chop, and here I have more space, and I'm better positioned, so, yeah. We should be seven g five. Here I slowly listed my, lost my advantage. But on chess com it says not no inaccuracies, but here I'm already like minus one around it. Queen c six is fine, but bishop six was better, so my pawn is uh, not nice. So okay, shift. Oops, no, 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 I didn't click. So shift on chess com it's green. Alt is blue and shift. And control is yellow, yeah. Okay, just leave it as away. So yeah, B3 is my mistake. I had to do D5, and even here, it's up a pawn. My pawn is passed, and I have huge compensation, and that should be fine for me. This King D4, and I'm fine. So Queen is a mistake. He could have played Queen B1, and here he can get one or two pawns, and he's completely better, close to winning. So you can say I get lucky, and here I was 10 seconds versus like 5 or 7 minutes he had. So I had to play really fast and good chess. And I think I did it. Here it says it's excellent, but at least it says it's blunder. 43rd, right? It's a blunder, but here it says it's, it's nice. This, but where does it say it's mistake? Ah, it says okay. It says bishop d5 was best in g4, and here you can still hold. Yeah, I saw this position. I saw I'll play knight f6, and then slowly, slowly I'll try to play and win. And I was sure I'll win this, but g4 just make my work easier. I put my knight to c4, so his skin cannot block my pawns, and I play knight e3. I get two pawns. I decide not to play d6 and fast win. I just decided to get two pawns and. Then just slowly realize it. Uh, okay, knight c4 was in x and skin d4, but that's, that's a mostly finger slip, but it doesn't really matter if I do king d4. Uh, <laughs> Stockfish here says I have to chop him on one more pawn, but bishop a4. Doesn't matter because I'm winning there and there. <laughs> How king e8 can be blunder? I don't know because bishop e6 I can chop and then promote, so <laughs> it's a little bit weird, but but yeah. I'm winning here, and let's see if I win it. Let's see, but so queen g8, it's a little bit faster made, and yeah. And here it's but here it's checkmate, and I won the game. Virtual Camille, good game. So knight is really last book move. It was quite not the best game for me, but yeah, okay. But I was lucky that he didn't chop a pawn, and, and I was in time trouble. So if he gets this pawn, then. He probably can win, but he didn't get it, and then 
and then I get better queen seven, of course, queen b1. Yeah, he just don't need to play f6 here, it says it's fine, but yeah, f6 he just can play it, he's fine. Here is bishop d5, game changer, uh huh. Here I get a pawn. So here I already start to relax and uh, in the end I even had some time advantage. I was really surprised of it. Here queen g8 seems, yeah. Mm -hmm. Again, queen g8, uh-huh. And once more, queen g5, uh-huh. So plus 1.5 accuracy for me and plus 4.8 for him. So 85.9 for him in total and 98.3 in total for me. Okay. Now let's analyze this game in chess base 15. Alt F2 and I can flee board because I'm playing with whites. And let's get started. Yes, opening I played. I played fine. This is fine. This is also fine. This is not fine, yeah. That's everywhere it says. It's not the best. Bishop D7 here to play. 95. And here it's equal. Okay, 94. Yeah, 94 is inaccuracy. I can say mistake. Oh no, okay. Yeah, mistake. 95 was the best. If 95 was a 96 and I'm better. Or if he takes this and bishop d3. And here f a5 is I'm slightly better, but still better than in the game. Uh, because here I slowly I put my knight on h3, probably I had to keep it in the leave it in the middle. Um okay, here bishop d3, but that's in accuracy. Bishop d3 was slightly better. Rook c8 is fine. But queen d4 was interesting with some ideas. Of knight of in this stuff, so I had to do this, and uh, I had to do this, and here after rook a c8 or rook f c8 is better because this is really not nice pawn and he's better. So bishop c2 this. It was okay. Here it's a mistake. D5 was the best. <laughs> Everywhere it says, of course, yeah. Here h3, h4, better h4 on chess base it says. d6, bishop c6, h5, a5. Queen c3, bishop e8. Queen c8, this, this. Queen e6. Queen e6, this, this, this. And it's equal. So queen e4 is one more mistake. He had to do g5. And d5, this. Knight h5, king f8. Or f6. Queen d3, queen e5, d6, king f7. Chop, king e7, knight f6, bishop c6, and he's better here and close to winning. f3 is only move, and this mistake. He had to play queen b1, this queen b3, d5, queen e4. And he's better. But I can say in black is better, but uh, what it was, and black is much better. They are very close to win winning. Yeah. So king of two this. So here I can skip this part. It was again repeat first time trouble for me. 10 seconds for 7 minutes, so here I had a plan, and yeah, okay, yeah, king e7 was a mistake, he had to play king d6 and as much as it possible, uh -huh. huh, okay, here it's a mistake then, this was a mistake, this was a mistake, and I can delete this variation, so f6 was a mistake, but he had to play this, yeah, but what was a mistake, um, okay, so, Okay, king e6 was a mistake. Okay, king e6 was a mistake. He had to play f6, knight a2, this. And black holds bishop b5 and black horse holds a draw. And black holds a draw. 
Yep. But after this, I'm already winning. And here it was just like one decisive mistake. This can see six. I mean, I'm I'm close to winning here too, but still. But still, I'll just say legs. Legs. Still can't try to hold. I mean, it's winning. But, but okay, but after this I can just keep all the part because I get the two points and then slowly re realized it. So there was nothing really interesting and yeah, not, nothing really important also wasn't there. So yeah, let's save the game. Good game. So now let's move on to round number six, and that will be last round for now, for today. Yeah. So and my fifth round opponent it was Warchol, Warchol Camille, and he finished on what place? That's too low, right? He was from Poland, and I played when he had four points, so minimum four points, and I guess he gets some points after my game, so I'm sure he has like five points. Let's see, Poland flag. Here, okay, he finished on 26th place with five and a half points. And now let's go to our last game for my last six round game it was against Temer back of time us he's 2011 so he's nine years old he had a federating classic 1500 in rapid 1608 and in blitz 1619 so rating progress is like this in classic he come up then he come down a little bit come up and then it's like this then in it is blitz yeah no it's very rare pitch rare pitch uh he come up then he comes a little, little, little bit down, then up, and again up. So he's now 16.8. And Blitz, he open it directly here. Then he come up, and now he's 16.19 in Blitz. So, yeah. Okay. So, individual calculations, no profile details. Uh, so in Russia... Yeah, he's from Russia. From active players, he's 4,254. In Europe, he's 69,807. And in world, 90,749. Yeah. So, and let's check all his game. Available. Okay, it's twice available. Let's click on June. This and last one. And this and last one. And this, and that's the last one. So first, uh, it was Russian under 11, and he get two points out of out of three possible, and he get his rating classic. Then it was also in Russia. Um, he got three points out of seven plus, but plus 13 rating. That's nice. Then he got um, six points out of seven also in Moscow Open. Group H plus thirty six point uh, plus thirty six rating points. That's nice. Um, yeah, it was last tournament. And in rapid, he's opened his rating. He played his first tournament in also in Russia. Three points out of eight possible. Eight what is here and plus forty seven on rating. It's also nice. Um, then okay, then he played in European and just rapid under eight. 2019 okay it comes to 2020 and your opinion your team under 10 so he got in first one he got eight points out of nine possible and probably he won the tournament plus 36 on rating and no 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 i shouldn't say I've carried well. no yeah he won it i see um and yeah and then second tournament five points out of six possible plus 32 on rating and yeah, his first blitz in is Blitzman champion Russia. He got six with a half points out of fifteen possible. And plus ninety one on rating. And his last blitz tournament is European Union Blitz in 2019. 
Oh, uh, plus 63 and raising 7 out of 8 possible. Even one means uh, the token. Okay. But he got 5th place. Okay. Alright, Galaxy 1. Uh, Alright. So let's analyze. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, let's analyze probably first on Chesscom. 74.4 accuracy for him, 94.9 for me. Little green and moves for each of us. 17 best moves for him, 23 for me. 10 excellent for him, 13 for me. 8 good for him, 4 for me. 6 book for him, 5 for me. 1 in accuracy for him, 0 for me. 0 mistakes for him, 0 for me. 2 blunders for him, 0 for me. 0 mistakes for him, 0 mistakes for me. Okay, let's get started. Let's flip the board. So here it was some kind of prominent variation or like this. It was a little bit weird he played this and then I was surprised that he gave bishop away. This is bishop e5. But okay, that seems okay. Only seem probably here I could have played b6 or and then rook c8 because I allowed him to play c5 and and I move rook back, I hope to play b6, but then, <laughs> so b6 is not possible, I play this, and now my bishop is stuck here around forever, She's, this pawn is beautiful for him, I forgot, shift, yeah, shift, and my bishop is dead, but 97, and here he just, it's inaccuracy, I mean, it says good, but it's like inaccuracy or mistake, here he's slightly better, and yeah, he's fine, but after this, he just, I don't know, plunder, so like this pawn, but then he get it back, but still, maybe 5 this, so I saw one pawn there, rook d2 probably, okay, 7 was better, but still this, and seems fine for open it, it's a little bit better for me, close to a draw, okay, rook e2, rook e7 was better, but still nice, and here he just wanted rook c8 here to play rook c7, and his knight is back in the game, and it should be draw, I saw here he had also queen c5, but after I finished game, then I saw I have this, and queen c8, this beautiful rook a8. I saw queen d7, it's possible, but it's not because of queen b8, and he's even slightly better here. And the same story with queen c7, rook a7, queen c8, rook a8, and queen d7 because of queen b8, and yeah, so that was nice. But yeah, when he played rook c8, he just blundered that I have queen c1, and I get a knight, I got a knight, and then... And then slowly I realized it. Queen d3 is one more inaccuracy because queen c1. But that's not changing anything. I mean, in and there, and there. And here, he also just played queen c3. Still. Also, does not change in anything. And after bishop of 1, that's mate in Taiwan. Good game. So, castle was last book move. Yeah, I did. Yeah, probably shouldn't tell. Shouldn't tell. Uh, yeah, okay, critical on the good moves, on the good move, on the good move, on the good move, and here it's just rook c7, I remember, and game changer. So, okay, in total it is 80.3 uh, plus 5.9 for him in accuracy, and 94.9 for me plus 0 in accuracy, I see. So in the game of Lichos, it says 3 in accuracy, 1 mistake on one for him, and 2 in accuracy, 0 mistake, 0 on 45. And for me, yeah. 2 nil nil for me, 3 one, 1 for him. So yeah, as I told you, everything fine, only a3, h3 was better, but that's, I guess not a big problem. Bishop a7, h5 was better, so Sophie says that my idea is 93, right? Mm -hmm. Or Bishop d7. And if this, then 93, I can chop 93, Bishop d7, Bishop a7, and then I'm fine. Bishop e5 is an active on skin h1. Yeah, because when he played Bishop e5, I was a little bit surprised. But yeah, then this rook a c8 I played. It was not the best moves I ever played. Because I just spent wasted tempos. Now my bishop is really bad. His pawns are really awesome. But my bishop is ouch. <laughs> queen b2 in exhibition on queen b1. Yeah, I don't know. Probably had a mouse sleep. I, I don't know. Okay, here stock with chase I'm fine, but he's still better. Yeah, but after knight c5, I'm slightly better here. He has, he's fine, but here it's already equal. <laughs> we didn't do a huge mistake, but it's okay, it's fine for him. Rook c8 is blunder business, rook c7. And here I just have to force a draw. 
And yeah, and here he just blundered this knight on c8 because of this rook c8 and queen c1 double attack. And then the rest was just a realization part. Oh, queen c3 mistake because it's queen p1, queen d1, but it doesn't really matter. And bishop f1 is made at once, game 10 minutes back of time us. And now let's analyze this game in chess base 15. I can need to click ctrl f, okay. So, e6. It's kind of variation with bishop d3. Uh -huh. So here... Okay, yeah. That's... Uh, that's okay, I can you scroll not nice. So that's an inaccuracy, knight h5 was better. Bishop h4, bishop I yeah, yeah, why you uh, why you moving not the best way I don't really understand why when I click like here um what okay here knight to four and here when I click why when I click D5? Oh, it's box, not nice. Okay. <laughs> okay, doesn't matter. Um, yeah, okay, knight of g6, and I'm slightly better here. My bishop is fine and all this stuff. Rook c1 is okay. That's that's fine. No, that's not fine. That's not the best. That's an inaccuracy. I had to play b6. Knight d5, bishop d5, c takes d, queen c2, bishop c2, e takes d, takes d. But after rook d5, I'm slightly better, but still very close to draw. I'm one one pawn now, but it's opposite color bishop, but still. Seems like a draw. Seems like a draw. Okay, yeah, c5, uh, this, that's weird, but it's fine. Yeah, here, a5, I'll say it's a nice move, because uh, this is, but my bishop is not nice. So, knight d7, mm, I'll say this is inaccuracy, yeah. He had to play knight a4, yeah, and I don't really like my position. Knight b8, this, this. Yeah, if I trade the bishops, then probably I like it because minus one problem. Uh, yeah, b takes a. And it seems equal. Because, yeah, now it seems equal because I don't have this bad bishop and he'd like not play this extra minor piece. So, knight c5 is the best. This is the best move. Um. So knight a7, rook d2. It's equal to c5. I have rook d2, so it doesn't matter. This is still draw, and yes, it's blunder. Uh, here to play rook c7, and yeah, I'll say this variation. Ouch. And yeah, I should force a draw here. Draw. So yeah, and if he did here instead of rook c8, if he do queen c5, that's also a blunder. But since rook a and after rook a7, I'm winning. And if queen c8, then yes, and what? Then rook a8 is the best. And then I'm winning. It's a brilliant move to be honest. And yeah, and if he do queen c7, it's the same. No, not rook. If he plays queen c7, oh, but now it's okay, now it's the best, <laughs> it's the best move on c7 square, it's still the best story, this and queen c8, this, and then we did but okay, after rook c8, it just, he just landed this double, double chain, no, not double chain, just double attack, and then rest was just realization part, and yeah, and here mate and I want to game 10 minutes back of time us. Nice. So tomorrow, I think I'll do the last three games. So for now, it seems fine. Now I'll just, yeah, I can close his video profile. And yeah, he finished 24th place. His five is a half points. I'll show all my opponents. Opponent. Uh, no, not ratings. Cards. 
Um, yeah, this first opponent, this is second, and this third. So Boyero started, uh, Drago started nice, two out of three, and uh, but then he lost many games. And yeah, then um. Watchel Camille, can okay, remaster Watchel Camille. Yeah, he was nice until game against me. He was four, three out of four, but no loses. And he was nice. Yeah, he he could have even tried to win against me, but minimum draw. But yeah, he had minimum draw versus me. But then he lost and Tim Rack of Time us. He had four out of four, and he lost twice to Igor Savanenko and to me. Then drew it once and lost and one more win and mm -hmm. so yeah that's nice it seems nice that's all for against six puzzles on leeches wait change okay <laughs> it should be easy puzzle twelve thousand times it's solved correctly <laughs> it will be ouch if I don't solve it but okay here it seems root g four queen h six root g three F takes G and then rook G3 or rook G4, queen E3 and rook H4. It will be funny if it's not correct, but it is correct, yeah? Aha, uh -huh. you want to run from me, but you will not, you want to run, but you will, you will not run. Aha, uh -huh. what seems better, rook E8? No, rook E8, rook H1, rook E3, king E3, he's fine. So rook E1 and then rook E8. Boom. What is this? Okay, you can see what's written ahead and the stuff. Uh, here it seems like queen g3 and then rook f6 idea. So queen b6, I have bishop d4. If like knight h5, knight e4, I have bishop e5. Yep. But knight e4, bishop e5, queen b6, bishop d4, knight g3, bishop b6, knight f1, bishop c5. What? <laughs> what? It seems weird. But okay, knight h5 and bishop queen e5, I'm fine. I have queen e5 also in, after knight. After this, this. Queen c3, queen e4, I have. But yeah, I'm fine. So, and queen g3, if he moves rooks, and rook f6. And here, queen e5, right? Yeah. And yeah. Nice. Uh -huh. Here it also should be easy one. Seems like. Wait, it seems like just e takes d bishop d4 queen d4 or e takes d bishop e6 and f takes e. I mean, what's the problem? Maybe there's no problem. <laughs> and, yeah. Queen e6 bishop d4, d takes e. He can run with bishop, so f takes c. And cb because d is a knight c7. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. Oh, here it's queen f1. Two queens, four whites, and one rook, but doesn't save. Does not help them. Just trippy guy is always winning. He tries to win, and yeah. Okay, what if I do rook d3 here? Or e6, probably. I don't know. Like e6, e7 idea? What do you think about it? E7 seems really amazing because C7 and then D8 and then yeah seems great. But tell that rush because even if you are doing puzzle rush, don't rush. Mm. I saw three or four puzzles already. I guess four, right? Mm -hmm. Seems C6, Bishop C5, P7, and Bishop E7. Just look E7 like this. I'll not be many material up, but <laughs> I'll be some material up, and that's important too. So queen e7 or rook e7? If queen e7, then I, he has queen f3 and king g6, queen g4 mate. So I'll chop with rook. Um, bishop g6, probably. Yeah, queen f3, and I'm fine. Yeah? Oh, so here just rook f3, knight h4, or first knight h4 and then queen f7. Let me think. Rook f3, queen f3, knight h4. Hmm, 
Let me think. Hmm. I don't know. Root of three. <laughs> I don't know. Everything seems and fine and not fine at the same time. <laughs> but I have to choose correct move. Move, move, move. I mean, I don't like rook f3 because after queen f3, knight h4, like queen g4, knight g2, he has like knight f5, knight h6 ideas. Um, and this tough for queen g6. So I would like more. What? <laughs> I would like if knight h4, rook f7 is possible. This. Hmm. That's strange. Well, and there and there he has his queen h4. Hmm. Queen g4, not queen h4, excuse me. But queen g4 there, he didn't have protect, but queen f7, I have like k6 is under protect and this stuff. So I can do bishop e7, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. There, if I do bishop e7, then it's not nice, but my queen is protect and queen g7 I have. So I like knight h4. Yeah, that's correct, right? That after if I do rook f3 first, then he has this, this, and ah, queen f6, and my knight. Bye bye. <laughs> All right, so six correct puzzles. So for today, we'll finish stream. So please share my team on chess. Prepare to catch me on my team. 781 members. Thank you all very, very much. So 19 more members and I will make your money to members. And I will be very happy. And also please share my club on chess.com. I have a club 114 members. Thank you all very, very much. So 86 more members and I will make your money. Probably I'm not sure, but probably I'll make your money to 100 members. So I will be very happy. And thank you all for following me on chess. I need my video chance as usual. Click the like button and subscribe. And subscribe in this comment so you don't be joined on chess. And club I'm just going to just enjoy your chance. Bye bye. Bye bye, guys. See you soon. See you tomorrow. And I'll see you soon.